O Lord, open our lips, and we will declare your praise. And we read together from Psalm 90. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountains were brought forth, or the earth and the world were formed, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn us back to dust and say, Turn back, O children of earth. For a thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday, which passes like a watch in the night. You sweep them away like a dream, they fade away suddenly like grass. In the morning it is green and flourishes, in the evening it is dried up and withered. For we consume away in your displeasure, we are afraid at your wrathful indignation. You have set our misdeeds before you, and our secret sins in the light of your countenance. When you are angry, all our days are gone, our years come to an end like a sigh. The days of our life are three score years and ten, or if our strength endures even four score, yet the sum of them is but labour and sorrow, for soon they pass away and we are gone. Who regards the power of your wrath and the indignation like those who fear you? So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Turn again, O Lord, how long will you delay? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us with your loving kindness in the morning, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Give us gladness for the days you have afflicted us, and for the years in which we have seen adversity. Show your servants your works, and let your glory be over their children. May the gracious favour of the Lord be upon us. Prosper our handiwork. O oh, prosper the work of our hands. Teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. We pray, Lord, that you will teach us to use productively the time you have given us. Psalm 92. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High to tell of your love early in the morning and your faithfulness in the night time, upon the ten-stringed instruments, upon the harp, and to the melody of the lyre. For you, Lord, have made me glad by your acts, and I sing aloud at the works of your hands. O Lord, how glorious are your works! Your thoughts are very deep. The senseless do not know, nor do fools understand, that though the wicked sprout like grass, and all the workers of iniquity flourish, it is only to be destroyed for ever. But you, O Lord, shall be exalted for evermore. For lo, your enemies, O Lord, lo, your enemies shall perish, and all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But the, my own you have exalted, like the horns of wild oxen, I am anointed with fresh oil. My eyes will look down on my foes, my ears shall hear the ruin of the evildoers who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree, and shall spread abroad like a cedar of Lebanon. Such are as are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age, they shall be vigorous and in full leaf, that they may show that the Lord is true, he is my rock, there is no unrighteousness in him. We give thanks to the Lord for the good things he's done in our life. And uh, we will remain faithful to him because we take the long view. Though the wicked sprout like grass, they tell me to be destroyed forever. Uh, the grass, as the previous psalm said, the grass sprouts up in the morning and looks great. But by the end of the day, it's gone away. We must uh, take a long view and not be like the wicked, but we will rejoice in God's blessings through the years of this life and through all of eternity. So, uh, Proverbs chapter 10, verses 1 to 12. A wise, a wise child makes a glad father, but a foolish child is a mother's grief. Treasures gained by wickedness do no profit, but righteousness delivers from death. The Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he thwarts the craving of the wicked. A slack hand causes poverty, but the hand of the diligence makes rich. A child who gathers in the summer is prudent, but a child who sleeps in the harvest brings shame. Blessings are on the head of the righteous, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. The memory of the righteous is a blessing, 
but the name of the wicked will rot. The wise heart will heed commandments, but a babbling fool will come to ruin. Whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but whoever follows perverse ways will be found out. Whoever winks the eye causes trouble, but the one who rebukes boldly makes peace. The mouth of the righteous is like a fountain of life, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all offences. Hatred stirs up strife where we are hating someone, where we, we don't like someone, we see lots of faults in what they do. When we love someone, love covers a multitude of all offences. Praise God that he loves us and is able to cover all of our offences. Mark chapter 6 and verses 1 to 13. He left that place and came to his hometown and his disciples followed him. On the Sabbath he began to teach in the synagogue and many who heard him were astonished. They said, where did this man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been given him? What deeds of power are being done by his hands? Is it not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and his brother, James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offence at him. Then Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honour, except in their own, the hometown, and among their own kin, and, among, and in their own house. And he could do no deed of power there, except that he laid his hands on a few sick, sick people and cured them. He was amazed at their unbelief. Then he went about among the villagers teaching. He called the twelve and began to send them out two by two. He gave them authority over unclean spirits. He ordered them to take nothing for the journey except a staff. No bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals and not to put on two tunics. He said to them, whenever you enter a house, stay there until you leave the place. If any place will not welcome you and they refuse to hear you, as you leave, shake the dust that is on your feet uh, as a testimony against them. So they went out and proclaimed that all should repent. They cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. Jesus went to his own hometown where people knew him well. And there they didn't receive him. They said, who's this? He's just one of us. He's nobody important. Where did he get this wisdom? Why is he able to do these things? And he was amazed at their unbelief. And yet out in the other villages, he was able to do many more mighty works. Let's make sure today we don't limit God by our unbelief. Lord, we lift up this day before you. And Lord, we pray that we will make you glad. That we will be the wise children who bring honour to their Father. So Lord, we pray that you will give us the wisdom that comes from above, that we may live faithfully for you. Lord, we pray that we will be those who are prudent, who gather in the harvest time. We will be those who uh, work hard for you and store up riches in heaven. And so Lord, we dedicate to you this day and pray your blessing upon it. And pray, Lord, that you will use us for your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.